Would you believe me if I said I shot that in 30 frames per second? Well, let me show you. Pick your item you want to slow-mo and then choose a background. You either want to go straight black or a green screen. I want to place my slow-mo shot in another shot so it looks like this. So I'll go green screen. Attach your item of choice to something stable that can also rotate. The rotation part's important. Thankfully, there's something that fits this criteria perfectly. Light it till you're happy. If you're working with green screen, just make sure the lighting on the green screen is even with no harsh fall off. If it's black, just make sure it's as black as possible. It'll make post much easier. Make sure your camera's eye line is flush with the bottom of your item. Otherwise the tripod, which we'll have to remove later in post, is gonna cut into your thingamajig once we start rotating. Over on your camera, set your frame rate to 30 and your shutter speed to 60 and hit record. Once you're rolling, you wanna rotate your thingamabob with the tripod, but smoothly. Okay, this is the magic of the effect. So, don't stuff it up. Create a sequence in 24 frames per second and chuck your footage in. Adjust the speed of your shot to 80% and choose frame sampling. This will slow your 30 frames per second down to 24 and help sell the slow motion feel even more. Now, create a mask to remove the tripod from the shot. You'll probably have to keyframe the mask to move as the tripod rotates as well. But once you've done that, all that's left to do is key out the green screen if you went that route or adjust the color and contrast to achieve that pure black for your background. And now you have a floating thing. Okay, so there's one more thing. But don't worry, this is super simple. Just take it easy, man. It's as easy as adding a couple of keyframes. One for its start point and one for where you want it to end up. Or maybe one in the middle if you want to do something like I did. Then finesse the speed to your liking and add some speed ramping here and there to the keyframes to mimic how gravity works. Just mess with it until it looks right to you. Chuck on a lens flare if that's your thing. Um, and that's literally it. I've genuinely used this technique on pan gigs because it really looks like slow motion. I'd even say it's a little more powerful than real slow-mo in these kinds of shots. You can dial in the movement and the framing with way more control and precision. It's super versatile too, so you know, have fun with it. Um, but yeah, that's that's it.